I think art is also something that's, it's an extreme. And so there's something about making this massive exhibition in this really improbable place that seems really remarkable and really 21st century to me, I think. I think the 21st century is an extreme place. This work stretches massively up to the ceiling. Um, when I move around this side of the work, it contracts. So here it's extremely narrow. It, it's just one centimetre wide. And then when I move around this side of the work, it, it expands again. So it has this, this movement in it, even though it's made from inanimate materials. So there's this continual expansion and contraction in the works, which is part of, which I imagine as their, their breathing. I'm showing three works. Two of them are extremely vertical, and one of them is extremely horizontal. Um, there's, there's a lot of stretching in the work. Uh, I often begin with an object or an image that I treat like an object that's then stretched. So in two of the works, one of which I'm standing in front of at the moment, which are called Hard Shell and New Skin, I've taken an image, there's a, a bright blue image uh, of shampoo and then I've taken an object which is a, a plastic model of a human hip bone. I've photographed that object and then I've massively stretched the photographed image. This work is called Reptiles. Um, it's made from mirror polished stainless steel, elastics, machined hand carved and polished marble and cast aluminium. So this is a work that I would describe as stretchy even though it's made from steel and marble. So they're, they're materials that are thought of as inanimate and hard but I'm trying to stretch them and this happens very much as I move around it so here it's contracted again and then it will open out. I think there are many different bodies implied by the work. One of the bodies is the body of the room. I think that um, the works need the room in order to embody them. Each work is an, it's, it's a complete being in and of itself but it also um, has a relationship to the other works in, in the room, to its time and to its place. Um, much like any other living being would have, uh, uh, like you and I have, we're, we're, we're kind of complete people, we're living beings, um, but we're, we're very much part of our surroundings and our context. We're both of those things at once, and that's how I imagine the works that I make. They're very, um, I would say that they have um, quite set limitations and that I'm grateful for because part of being an artist now is that absolutely anything is possible. You can do what you want, you can do anything you like and that's a, it's a huge challenge, it's a massive question so I think you have to begin with okay what are the limitations and in this room here two of the apparent limits anyway are the, the ceiling heights. 